This is my Axolotl Harry. In this video, we're gonna be giving Harry a major upgrade. Time to move, Harry. I've seen people build hobbit homes all over the internet, but what if I built one for my Axolotl Harry? My mom and I got Harry as just a little baby. We put him into this tank, which he is now outgrown. So right over here, we actually have a much bigger tank that we are going to be building for him today. The ideal size for an adult axolotl is 30 to 40 gallons. This tank right here, it's 30 gallons, three times the size. If he continues to grow, we can always upgrade him to an even bigger aquarium. We've had Harry for about a year. He was like, really tiny when we first got him. He's really grown a lot. I feel like he was really small for the longest time and then all of a sudden, the last couple months, he just went through a growth spurt. Maybe I fed him too much every day. Why did you name him Harry, Mom? Well, because he is Harry. Look at his little ears there. We have everything we need to set up the tank right here. Even Melly's excited about this upgrade. So the first thing we're gonna add to the aquarium is the substrate. So this is a really fine black sand. Harry's DNA contains properties from jellyfish and coral, which is why he glows under the black light. But normally that light is actually turned off. And when Harry's not glowing, he's more of just like a pale neutral color. It never really stood out much against this white sand. I decided for this tank, we're gonna do black sand. And I think Harry is going to pop when he's up against this black sand. In an axolotl aquarium, you need to use a really fine substrate because unfortunately, axolotls are not the smartest. They have a tendency to accidentally swallow random things in the aquarium, such as big pieces of rock or gravel. They mistake it for food and then it'll get stuck in their bellies and they won't be able to digest it. This sand is so fine that if he accidentally swallows some of it, he'll be able to have it pass through his digestive system. It's good to have substrate. It just makes the ecosystem a lot more stable. You also don't want to have more than about an inch or two. Lots of pockets of gas can get stuck under all that substrate and that toxic gas can get released and be really deadly to an animal like an axolotl. Next, we're going to add some natural rocks. This is a type of rock called dragonstone. It looks really cool because if you prop it up like this, they look like natural cliffs that you maybe find like a dragon flying through in one of those mythical movies. Harry really likes to live inside this PVC pipe, so I decided to get him some upgraded and more natural looking places to hide. These are a couple tunnels. Much better than the pipe. I think we should put it like this. So you can see his head poking through. It's always cute when he's looking at you, kind of hiding. So this is artificial decoration. Let's set up what Harry's magical universe is gonna look like. This is just like a little cavern opening. Can you imagine Harry peeking out of that? Yeah, that's really cute. This is the tree of life. It's this really cool bonsai decoration. Let's put this one in this corner over here. There's just too many pieces. Boy, I don't think we're gonna get any awards on aquascaping here. Just do whatever you want then, Carol. Hey, watch it. This is a bridge. I love the bridge. It's so cute. The isn't bridge it? is very cute. Let's put the bridge here so that Harry needs to take the bridge to get to the tree of life. This is the main feature of this tank, a hobbit house. Look how lifelike that is. So this will be his home. He has all this space to just hang out in there. So this would be in the middle like this. Why do you want it in the middle, George? It's like the main theme. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks great. You don't think it looks good? I think it looks phenomenal. The bridge. The bridge is cute. I think you have to move this a little bit over. No, I don't think so. Otherwise, he doesn't really need to take the bridge. He could just go around. A bridge has to connect two things. Yeah, it connects the middle to the side over here. You don't like this? I think this is super cool. The bridge is a problem. It's not a it problem. It's misplaced. Harry won't know the difference. <laughs> but we know the difference. We finally, finally decided <laughs> on this design. The Hobbit house with the mountains in the back and the right. And then we have this little home, the trees behind that. And then the bridge connects the two worlds. Time to fill the aquarium with water. For people that don't know, axolotls are endangered in the wild due to pollution. That's because they're extremely sensitive to dirty water. Not only can they breathe through their gills, but they can also breathe in through their skin. This means that any harmful chemicals that are in the water, they will absorb into their bodies. So making sure we provide Harry with good water quality is gonna be the most important aspect of setting up his new tank. Most tap water contains chlorine, bacteria, and other chemicals that can be harmful to your fish. Using tap water in your aquarium can also cause algae to grow out of control. The best way to protect Harry and avoid drinking these gross chemicals is to use an RO, which stands for reverse osmosis water filter. I installed this water drop X-Series filter under my sink. It can make 1,200 gallons of purified water per day, which is enough for Harry's new tank, my piranhas, guppies, crayfish, 
saltwater aquariums, and plenty of water still left over for my family to drink. It has an 11 stage purification process that guarantees consistent clean water by filtering out 99.99% of harmful substances in tap water. But axolotls do like to keep certain minerals in their water, and the X series adds these minerals back into the water so it's healthier to drink. That's why Water Drop sponsored this video. What this means is Harry is gonna get all the essential minerals that he needs for optimal health. These minerals also make the water taste better for humans, and they have a bunch of extra health benefits like strengthening your immune system, promoting bone growth, and they actually help you rehydrate faster. So it does make me happy that we're gonna be giving Harry lots of clean, pristine water for his aquarium. This filter also comes with an intelligent faucet, which shows a digital TDS reading and can fill up a glass in three seconds. Most people have to buy RO water from their grocery store and carry it back home or have separate filter systems for your aquariums. But now I have a single compact unit that can do both. Harry's patiently waiting for us to finish setting up his new tank, so we're gonna set this up fast. Everything is plug and play. You just push these hoses into the connections. Everything is labeled really well. It's contained in this housing that covers the filters for a nice aesthetic look. It's a tankless RO, so this thing saves a ton of space under your sink. You can select exactly how much water comes out of the faucet, and this is twice as quick as a traditional reverse osmosis filter. It's super quick, and just what we needed to turn my tap water into cool, mineral-rich flow for Harry's new tank. I'll leave a link in my description with a special code that gives my viewers an extra 30% off discount if you want to get your own Water Drop X-Series filter. Now that the tank is full of water, we're going to plug it in. Harry looks like he's watching us get his new house ready. Doesn't it look like he's watching? Time to add some accessories to the tank. We're gonna start off with the lights. So these are actually the lights that come with my saltwater aquarium kit. I had a couple extra of these laying around. These are just great aquarium lights in general. You can use them on freshwater or saltwater aquariums. Now, axolotls don't like a lot of light. They don't have eyelids. Too much exposure to light can actually be harmful to them. You can just turn the white setting off completely and just put on the blue lights. And these blue lights, they won't be harmful at all to Harry. Looks really nice. The next really important accessory that we're gonna be putting on Harry's tank are these fans. We got three of these fans and they just attach to the back here. Axolotls really like their water temperature to be around 65 degrees, which is colder than most aquariums are kept. The room temperature here is about 70, 75 degrees. So adding these fans is going to help keep the water in this tank a little bit cooler. The other option is getting a chiller. That's a more advanced and really cool machine that will take heat out of the water. But these fans, they're way cheaper. They're way easier. They are kind of noisy, but it's possible you may end up only needing two, right? Or you could get us a chiller. You want a chiller? Maybe. Chiller is actually noisier. It's like a dehumidifier. We're also gonna add a digital thermometer. It just sits on the outside of the tank and it actually will tell you the temperature of the water on the inside. We should see the temperature of the water come down over the next 12 to 24 hours. The last accessories that we have to add are these aerators. And these are gonna just produce bubbles that oxygenate the water. I've seen some really cute videos online of axolotls that just love to sit in the bubbles and play in them. And it never hurts any aquarium to have more than enough oxygen. Fun thing about these aerators is that they light up. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I mean, as long as Harry likes it. The bubbles coming out from behind the Hobbit house looks like they're coming out of the chimney, like someone's home in the Hobbit house. But once we actually put Harry in here, I'll turn off all the lights. I'll make sure this axolotl has total and complete darkness if he wishes, but it does look really cool. Harry looks like he's ready to move. Are you ready to get into your new home? You gotta wait, buddy. Your new tank needs to cycle. Before we can move Harry into his new aquarium, we gotta let this tank cycle. We're gonna add some bacteria to try to make it happen as fast as possible, but it can still take anywhere from three days to a week, sometimes longer. Now, some of you probably will hate this look, which is why we're about to go and grab some real live plants. We also need to stop by the store and get Harry some more food. So when axolotls are little, they like to eat bloodworms, but as they get bigger, it's better to give them earthworms or night crawlers. You gotta cut them up and feed them to them, but they're more nutritional. But Harry likes them, that's for sure. Yes, he does. Feeding Harry is not the easiest thing. We just got back from the store. We picked up some food for Harry. These are night crawlers, basically earthworms. Then we also picked up some live plants. The plants will definitely help speed up the cycling process. They're also just gonna help naturally clean the aquarium for Harry over time. And look nice. So this is the jungle valve. It's a nice tall plant, so we're gonna put that in the back. This is the octopus plant. You can see it's got these crazy like octopus arms. We can put some of these on either side of the bridge. Those look really good there. I like those. And then this is Rotala. 
And it's called Rotala because it's got round leaves. George Farmer taught me that. We can put this one by his home. I think Harry is getting really impatient. He really wants to move into his new tank. We're gonna feed him a night crawler. Hopefully that'll hold him over. What do you think of the new tank for Harry? I'm sorry, George. I, I have no love for Harry or Mary or whatever. It's Harry. We'll give you a worm. It's like a baby begging to eat. A lot of the viewers actually respected that you were willing to give your honest opinion on camera. At least I speak the truth. Watch how fast he's gonna grab it. We built him a new, bigger aquarium. And this yeah. is all for Harry? Yeah. Whoa, lucky Harry. As a man who came from a village, yeah. we actually built Harry his own little medieval village. Wow, what a privilege. Is he a fish? They're amphibians, and they only come from this one lake in Mexico. They got really popular online, but they're almost extinct in the wild. What's special about him? The Aztecs believe that he's a god. <laughs> you see it, George? I mean, I don't know how the Greek gods so differ maybe... with the Aztec gods, but technically he's related to Quetzalcoatl from the Aztec Empire. They admire and believe in this animal so much in Mexico that they put it on their 50 peso bill. Wow. That's the axolotl. In the background, that's the lake that they come from in Mexico. But they pronounce it in Mexico as xolotl. And this is one of the only animals in the world that there are more in captivity than there are in the wild. That is like the way of preserving them. To me, he's creepy. Very cute. What is cute about? His little ears. His color, the way he walks. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Aquarium looks nice. It's too much for someone like this. Sorry, sorry guys. You may not like him, but you still have to pay his electric bill. Unfortunately, I do. <laughs> That's the sad part. The tank has now been fully cycled. We're ready to move Harry into his new home. Ready to go. We're gonna move Harry into this bowl so we can fully acclimate him to the water in the new tank. You guys should know that axolotls are fully aquatic salamanders, which means they never come out of the water. They spend their entire life in the juvenile state. We're gonna be using a net to scoop them up and put them into the bowl. They don't like to be handled. It can really upset them and damage their slime coat. Harry, it's time for... Acclimation. 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 Besides being able to breathe through their gills and their skin, you'll actually also see them go to the surface of the water, take gulps of air, which they're technically breathing. That can mean that your tank doesn't have enough oxygen in it, but sometimes it's just totally natural for them to do that and it helps them adjust their buoyancy. He's ready to go. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, there he wow, goes. He looks so big in there. It's the black sand. He pops like crazy. He really pops. We can turn the white lights off, but we could turn the blue lights on and you can see. Wow, he looks so cool. He's entirely glowing. We'll also turn off the light. Oh no, that's strobe. Oopsies. We'll turn off the light on his bubblers as well so that he can have some peace. Can't wait to see if he's gonna end up going in the little hobbit house. Oh look, he's exploring. It's so cute. I really love his new home. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click right here to watch another.